Well guys, now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up a secondary frame for the full screen machine and I'm going to be welding that together. Alright, so this is what we're going to be doing. We're building this top section of frame which is going to go above that. Let's see here, what, I, what do I got done so far? Okay, I've got this, these two bars here welded which are these ones. Got those two made. I've got these two cut, which is that one and that one. And then I have the front end right there. So I've got this all set up now, or all, I should say, you know, certain areas of it, certain parts of it welded, and now we just gotta put it all together. So now I'm gonna have to build a jig that'll elevate just certain portions where I can put in the other bars and weld them together. So it'll come out looking like this. Hopefully. So let me get this stuff set up and I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. Okay, well I think this is what I'm gonna do instead. Instead, I think I'm just gonna do this the quick way and use some magic. I guess it would work if I turn it on, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> T-Man's go-kartus Patronum! Yeah! Whoa! There we go. Eat your heart out, Harry Potter! Okay, so this is what we got done today. Yesterday I did the back end, and that's all over on my Facebook. Those of you who are following me on Facebook see that I posted that last night. And that's how it goes up. Uh, this whole bar here, this whole setup drops. I mean, it starts from there, angles up by about four inches, or five inches actually, and then goes straight across and connects to the back end. We'll be putting in crossbars. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a combination of square tubing and flat stock. I doubled this portion up up here. I've got one weld up there, two on the bottom. Let me show you from the front end here. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but it'll look something like that picture in the middle. But we don't have, it doesn't have the front end on in this picture here, as you can see. And tomorrow I'll be coming out here and doing the sidebar pieces, cross bracing. And yeah, looks pretty good. Here, let me uh, set up the camera and then s climb up there and sit in it so you guys can see how big it is in relation to me. for most of you bigger guys. I'm about 5'11", 6 foot or so. Yeah, so I'll probably be sitting up higher in this thing. I don't know if I want to make a uh, seat for it or buy one. If I buy one or make one, either way, I'll be sitting up a few more inches. Yeah, getting it done. Okay guys, that's pretty much it on this. Uh, just a real quick throw together. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's a quick throw together. It did take me almost all day to do this. Uh, of course, I was doing a lot of grinding and a lot of other stuff to it. But, yeah, so tomorrow I'll be coming out and I'll put, be putting in cross bracing. Uh, and then after I get that done, I gotta figure out my 
figure out my shocks, how I want to put my shocks on. Maybe, I'm not really too sure yet. I might even just jump right over onto the rear end. I'm thinking what I might do, since I already know it's tried and trusted and true, I might even use the the uh, plans on the Batmobile, the, the rear end that I used on the Batmobile, and put that on here. I might do that. Not really too sure yet, so. Okay, well, that's where I'm at on the full screen machine here, guys. Plugging away at it. So, comment, rate. So, I'd like to say hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.